God, this thing's at an angle. Let's adjust it. There you go. Loud and adjusted. So let's just uh, make sure it's nice and straight. God, I've got a bit of a belt off that. Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0 IQJ. In this week's video I'm going to show you how to ground out the power supply. Because when I was playing around with the Diamond X50 antenna, I noticed it was at an angle. So I went to adjust it back up straight, and sure enough, I was getting a bit of a shock from it. So the first thing I tried was changing the power lead over. Changed that to a known working one, and I was still getting a shock. So that's a good power lead, the other one was a good power lead. I then tried changing the power lead from the radio, thinking this was faulty, and I was still getting a shock. I then tried changing the coax over from big thick stuff to this stuff here, to thin stuff. And I was still getting a shock, but I was getting less of a shock. So my friend Robert suggested try a different power supply. So I tried it on this one, and this is a Maplin's uh, DC regulated supply. This is the XM21X I was playing on at home. Use this one, fired the radio up, Touch the antenna, no problems. So I thought this power supply is faulty. It wasn't faulty, it isn't faulty, it's because it's not grounded out. That's what we're going to do in this video. I can swap over the antenna to a HF antenna, so the CB antenna for 10 metres and the Pro Whip for uh, 70, uh, 40 metres and 20 metres, and I get no problems. Swap it over to 2 and 70 or 4 metres, and I get a belt from this supply. So for those playing along at home, this is the Elenco DM330MW Mark II. And this is a 30 amp supply. At the back of the supply, we've got your mains input, your fuse, your ground, which is what we're going to use. Your output, so that's 5 to 15 volts, 30 amp maximum. Your preset adjustment and the preset on off. Now you could just run a cable or piece of wire from the ground from here out your window and put it into the mud outside with a screwdriver but because I'm on the second floor I don't want to have an extra long cable out the window because effectively you probably create an aerial that's what we've got told in the course so what we're going to use is my tiger towel the end of the tiger towel is one of these ring isolators and the other end of the tiger towel I've stripped the wire off so you can expose the wire now if you haven't got a um, grounded socket on the radio so like, there's my one there also got some there and there you can just remove a screw tie the wire around and put the screw back in so what we're going to do in this video is where are we? turn the power supply around unscrew the grounding socket place the wire through and tie the ground socket back up Now with the other part of the cable, that's going to go to a screw on the radio. And there's the one I've got there at the side there. So I'm going to unscrew that one. Place it through the ring isolator or ring loop terminal connector. And then screw it back in to the radio. There we go. Okay, so to check it's all grounded out, you want to use your DVM and switch it to continuity checking, which is that one just there at the top. And when you touch your probes together, they should beep at you. So now we're going to touch the black probe onto the ground. Leave that there. And we're going to touch the red probe on the screws on the radio, and it should beep at us. Fine. Fine, fine, and the wire we just in installed, no problems. So that's all grounded together now. So I shouldn't get no shock off the antenna. So there we go, I've grounded out the power supply and the radio. Now you could run a long wire out the window and into the ground, but because I'm on second floor, I don't want to do that. So just a simple wire between the radio and the power supply. You can use any screw on there 
just use the screw on the side there. Now in the daytime it seems to reduce a lot of QRM on HF which is good. Shame it doesn't do it in the evening though but then we got that crappy sky cube with all the metal that spews out and PLT devices. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ 73.